the next 10 minutes, I will share with you a secret that seasoned and financially literate business owners know and use daily in their business decision making. This will completely change the way you make strategic big decisions in both your life and in business. Did you know that you make up to 35,000 decisions every day, which are usually smaller decisions such as what will I eat today? What will I wear? What will I say at the upcoming presentation at work? Right? These are all decisions that we perhaps subconsciously make every day. In our lives, there are these smaller micro decisions, which I mentioned, which we're continuously making, right? And these smaller decisions don't have such a big, strong impact on our lives, on the outcomes of our lives. These micro decisions are much, let's say, they bring us forward in our everyday, day to day. What are we going to eat? What are we going to wear? What are we going to say, right? These are all smaller decisions. But the bigger, the macro, the strategic decisions that we have to make for our lives and our businesses are what actually influences the biggest outcomes in our lives. So knowing that in every decision-making process, we have a choice. We have a choice between alternatives is enormously valuable to, to recognize and to know that that we have the power in our hands, we have the control to actually influence the outcomes in our lives. To give you an example, big decisions are which people to hire, which employees to fire perhaps, which people or, or employees should you promote into becoming a manager, or perhaps personal investment decisions, which stock to buy, which pension fund to apply for. These are all big decisions that we face probably weekly, if not daily. I personally have these questions that arise in my mind when having to make big strategic decisions, such as what if I will fail? What if I will make a wrong decision? If I will make a decision that will lose me a lot of money, right? I have these questions. I'm sure you have them too. That's totally normal. That's part of the decision-making process. So I want to introduce to you the concept of opportunity cost. The opportunity cost can be defined as what alternative am I choosing and therefore am I rejecting all other alternatives? That's the simple definition of the opportunity cost. And it is a very powerful concept that is derived from financial management literature, which states that in every decision, especially in business, there are other alternatives that can generate you an income, can, that can generate you a return on uh, a business activity that you will perform. So in this video, I will give you two examples of how you can start using this concept, this notion of opportunity cost in your strategic decision making in your daily life and in your business. But before starting out, I just wanted to ask you quickly, if you find these videos valuable, that they give you actionable advice and knowledge and information, then please leave behind a comment and subscribe. And another thing, I have a mentoring program where I help people build to, to, to truly find their life's purpose and as a vehicle to support that purpose to create a business around, to build and grow a business around that purpose. If you think, if you might be interested in, in having, being mentored, being supported in your journey towards finding your purpose, then click the link somewhere in the comments, somewhere in the description, and you can plan a free call, free strategy call, where you can go through your, your current struggles and, and have a deep dive into how you can also find your life's purpose and build a business around it. So let's get started. So how can you recognize the opportunity cost in a specific decision? I want to start off with one example, and that is in life. In life, we have so many decisions to make. Like I mentioned, we daily make up to 35,000 decisions every day, which are micro, perhaps minor decisions, which are not so important, right? But we also make very big decisions in our lives, such as, which which spouse to marry, which, for example, which city to live in, which house to buy, right? These are all big strategic decisions that we make in our personal lives. 
which perhaps sport to, to choose or to change. These are all decisions that influence the outcomes of our lives. And it is always a good practice to incorporate the concept of opportunity cost in that decision-making process. And I will give you an example. I will explain uh, how you can use that in your day-to-day, -day, in your life. So let me give you an example. So imagine you have option A and option B, okay? So you have an option to live in a city which has a lot of green, a lot of nature, which has uh, low house housing prices, so low house price, which has access to good quality organic food, so good food from local farmers, from from local local businesses, right? And then you have disadvantages such as, for example, perhaps less higher education, so less opportunities for schooling, and then less, for example, less accessible healthcare, right? So those are, that is option A. Okay, so that's, let's call it the um, living in the country, countryside. And then we have option B is living in the city. Okay, so living in the city provides benefits such as greater access to, to education, right? So, for example, we have access to education. We have more access to healthcare. But the disadvantages are more, just to give you an example, more processed food, faster lifestyle, so more stress, right? Much less nature, much less, less greenery, okay? And just to give you an example here, so you have, we have two options. We have option A, which is living by the countryside, and option B is living in the city, okay? And the, the point that I want to drive home here is that neither option is necessarily better, but there is a cost, there is a loss related to choosing, for example, living in a countryside. And that loss that is actually that is actually realized by going for a house that is in the countryside is that you have less access, access to education, less access to to perhaps better healthcare, right? And that is the cost of choosing this opportunity, of choosing the countryside opportunities, the countryside alternative. And when we are at a crossroads in our lives, when we have to decide which alternative to go for, so in this situation, personal decision to live in a specific city, or could be, for example, which, which, which school to go to, we always have to calculate for the opportunity cost. And we have to calculate, we, in, in, in finance, the term is called the net value of your decision, okay? So if, if you would try to translate, which is, of course, in personal life, that is very hard to quantify. But imagine that living in the countryside gives you, in terms of happiness, it gives you, let's say it gives you 150 it gives you 150 points of, of, let's say, of happiness, right? So it gives you 150 points of happiness, of, of success, of, 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 of living a healthy lifestyle, happy lifestyle. Whilst living in the city, it gives you a, a value, let's say, a value of 90 points, just to give you uh, an example here. So the net value in this case, by living in the countryside, would be... 150 minus 90 is, in this situation, we have 60 as the net value. 60 is the net value if we would live in the countryside, right? And that's, that's, just, that's just to give you an example of how you can actually, how you actually can turn a decision into if a, 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 a figure based decision based on based on analyzing the alternatives. Okay, I think that 
gives you a good indication of how you can actually use the opportunity cost in a big strategic decision in your life. I understand completely, and that is something that I struggle with personally, that it is very hard to make decisions when, when you have a, a good alternative. A good alternative will make the opportunity cost much higher. And this isn't, this isn't a, math, a necessary mathematical approach. This isn't a, a approach based on numbers, because in the end, if you decide, for example, to, to marry a specific person or live in a specific city or go to a specific school, life goes on. You create value based on the decision that you make and the, and the outcome that is created by the decision can never ever be cut, compared to another alternative because you live in that moment, in that specific time, at that specific place. But it is the decision-making process which is so essential in order for us to arrive at our, at our vision in life, at our, at our desired destination. And in order to do that, we need to use, we need to be, we need to be thoughtful of the decisions that we make, thoughtful of the alternatives that we have. And therefore, I believe that opportunity cost is, a, is an immensely valuable tool in decision making in personal life. So let's have a look at an example in business. Although this, this makes it, this makes comparison, uh, makes comparison significantly easier because in business, we often look at we, we speak the language of business and the language of business is that of finance, is that of accounting. And that makes it quite easy. So imagine you have a business and you have uh, an investment opportunity A and B, okay? And investment opportunity A is one where you decide to, to expand into a specific product or a specific service, right? That can make you a profit in year one of let's say it makes you a profit of 50k, right? So that's that's alternative one is a profit of 50k in year two. But going for product B, expanding, for example, instead of expanding into new product, so this would be new product, this would be expanding into new geographic location. Okay, so imagine that imagine that you you want to expand locally, you want to go internationally. So that's the opportunity. But you have, of course, limited financial resources. So you can only choose, you can only choose one of these options. So you can't choose both. So this, these are these are the alternatives. So we have alternative one, which is new product or alternative to two, new geographic location. The profit that expanding towards new geographic locations in year one is let's say it's 30k okay so that is alternative two when calculating the opportunity cost in strategic decision making in business we always look at the net value that we get from choosing an alternative so in this case if we would go for option a the net value for our decision would be 50k minus 30k is 20k okay but if we go for alternative b our net value our net value would be 30k but losing 50k so we'd actually have a negative value of 20k so in this decision making process we we can already see that most definitely, it makes much more sense to choose for business opportunity A. So creating a new product or new service, right? And that is a, a powerful way where we can actually use our the information that we have, all of the alternative business opportunities, business investments that we have as a business owner. We always have to analyze what is the net value of opportunity A taking into account losing the profit of the alternative. So losing the, the fact that we won't expand into another country or going international is that we'll lose 30K in value. 
So that in the, the in net value of, of choosing for opportunity A is therefore 20k. But if we go for for an expanding for an expanding decision, we actually lose money because we actually lose the profit of expanding in towards a new product, losing that 50k. This is a very powerful practice that you can start using today in your business. So I personally I personally find this 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 idea this concept of opportunity enormously powerful there is however a there is however a risk in over analyzing in being paralyzed by over analyzing and overthinking decisions so in life and in business we have our judgment we have our experience and that is enormously valuable making decisions because sometimes we simply cannot quantify we cannot quantify our our alternatives we cannot quantify our alternatives and that makes it dif difficult to compare right especially when we're comparing qualitative options and alternatives qualitative that qualitative options that are not easily comparable if that is the case then then basically follow your experience and i always always advise to do not make a decision alone. Consult other people. Consult people that have experience, that have made many mistakes before you because they have a judgment that is, that is so much more valuable, so much more enriched that you can actually avoid making the mistakes yourself. And avoiding mistakes saves you a lot of money. I can assure you that. Okay, so I really hope you found this video valuable. If you, if guys, if you're liking these videos, if you, you're finding value in these videos, then please subscribe. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to like. And I have another video, which is very valuable with relation to the opportunity cost, is branding. When we realize that branding is one of the most powerful tools in business, we know that that it can actually help us to grow our business and well actually help us achieve our our vision and mission in life which is fantastic thing to do so again thank you again for your time and i'll see you in the next one